Okay, so I am right now trying to run a payload that will enable Gold Hen. So it looks like it might work this time. We got to stage two and now stage three. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got the cannot connect to the network. We've got the PPP owned message. And there we go. We've got Gold Hen 2.4 running right now on a PlayStation 4 11.0. So let me go ahead and get rid of this window right here. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back again. And then right up here at the top, we've got Gold Hen. So let me go ahead and scroll down here to System and then System Information. So the moment has finally came where we've got Gold Hen running on an 11 Dotto system. I am so extremely excited because it has been so long and I cannot believe that we are at this point now. One thing that I do want to tell you is, is that this actually isn't live right now. Now it will be live very shortly and when it does, obviously everybody can enjoy this and I'm going to make an actual video that shows you how to do it. But anyway, I wanted you to see that, and then I want to switch over to the PC and talk about a couple of different updates. So let's do that right now. So the very first thing that I wanted to mention was, was that Flow's official repo, you can see there has been all kinds of commits that have happened really just within the last day or so. So there's obviously a bunch of these kind of like readmes, but the more important things is stuff like this right here. So recently, Echo Stretch added in the PS4 offsets for 7.50, 7.51, and then 7.55. You can see that on the 5th of May, they added in the remaining 8.xx offsets. And then right here, this one was a pretty substantial one was was increasing the ability for the exploit to work without fail. This is something that I have noticed on my machine, which is I usually have to run this multiple times in order to get it to work. Since I have been using the very latest version that came out right here on the 6th, it might have been a little bit better, meaning that it's taken me three times or four times versus you know make, maybe taken me eight times. So that's one kind of key thing to add in there. So if we go back to the main project, you can see now there is a ton of different supported versions from when this first was released. They only had support for nine and then for 11. Now there is obviously all kinds of good things that's coming out of this already. One of them has obviously been the work by Lightning Mods. So Lightning Mods has three new additional payloads that you can go ahead and that you can use. And so they are the PS4 module dumper. So this decrypt and dumps all of the system files to a USB drive. There is the update blocker, which blocks the updates that is in the slash update folder and then forcefully unmounts it. So this is obviously going to be great to put on your firmware 11 machine that's connected to the internet to block any updates. And then the last one is this pup decryptor, which is just going to decrypt pups and then put them into the USB drive. So for the end user, the only one you would probably be that interested in would probably be this one right here, which is just simply the update blocker. Now, if you followed any of my other videos, it's super simple to use this thing basically just replace the stage two dot bin with this one right here and then pick one of these other bin files. So say update underscore blocker dot bin and then you just rename that to payload dot bin on your USB drive. So anyway, very cool work for this. I expect to see tons more of these payloads uh, being added in this. Another update here was for this tool called PPP on. Android and what this is doing is is taking a rooted Android phone and then a Ethernet USB C adapter for the phone and then basically using your phone to jailbreak your PlayStation 4, which I think is really really cool. There has been some talks of folks getting this to work just on Wi-Fi. 
I stated before that I, at least I am not aware of any method to do that, but I do know that the Ethernet port is definitely going to be something that we're going to have a struggle getting away from. The other thing that I did want to mention was, was that the written instructions for Windows, the latest version is pretty much right here. If you do want to check out my Windows 11 instructions. And then finally, that payload that you saw me run, which was golden at the beginning of this video, that is all because of Sistro and Sistro working on this but anyway, um, for Lightning Mods and all of these people, you definitely should check out their donation pages because I have been kind of seeing kind of what's happening behind the scenes and they are literally working like around the clock. So anyway, hats off to them. Anyway, this is kind of a quick update. You'll probably be hearing more from me this week on this topic. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.